Today, manufacturers of various forms of transport are interested in fuel cells. Using hydrogen and oxygen from the air, a fuel cell produces pure water, inert or inactive gases with no effect on the environment, and electricity. We may dream about using fuel cells to power a very light and almost silent plane, but for passenger transport, we must be more down to earth. We are still a long way from knowing how to produce and stock the huge amounts of hydrogen that would be needed. Airbus has understood that the importance of fuel cells in civil aviation lies elsewhere. A DLR A320 test aircraft was chosen to prove the fuel cell's operational maturity. The fuel cells were used to power one of the A320's hydraulic systems. To ensure they worked correctly across all the critical flight maneuvers and delivered a viable and constant energy flow. The tests went extremely well. We found that the fuel cells operated perfectly in extreme conditions and that the main control system functioned seamlessly. After this first test, Airbus is already imagining the next step. On a stopover, to power the air conditioning and start the engines of a plane, we use a generator called the APU, Auxiliary Power Unit, which runs on kerosene. Replacing the APU by a fuel cell would supply noiseless and emission-free energy on board. The distilled water produced would fill the onboard water tanks. The inactive gases would be used in the fire protection system. Ground operations would also be simpler, quicker and cleaner. This would mean less noise, less maintenance and no need for ground generators and water tankers. For Airbus, technological progress should benefit the whole world of aviation and the planet. <laughs>